on what intervals is the function decreasing? So we're given this graph, and our job is to find out when the function is decreasing. Well, by definition, the function is decreasing as when you move along the x-axis, you're going down and to the right. It could be a straight line, it could be a wobbly line. All you care about is, is our graph going down and to the right? Well, here it is going down and to the right and stops doing that at negative 1. Including negative 1? No, but at negative 1. So we can say from negative infinity to negative 1, our function is decreasing going down and to the right. From negative 1 to positive 1, we're increasing. And then from 1, we're going down and to the right again. And it's not consistent, but it doesn't have to be. It's just going down and to the right, down and to the right, down and to the right. So it picks back up from 1 to positive infinity. So we'll say union 1 to positive infinity, that is where our function is decreasing. Now let's take a look at B and understand the difference between what's being asked. B is asking on what interval is the rate of change, not only negative, but decreasing. Rate of change is fancy word for slope. So it's asking when is the slope negative. That does mean down and to the right, but also if the rate of change is decreasing, that also means concave down. So we need the part where it's going down and to the right and also concave down. So let's see what we marked up here in blue and see if any of this is concave down. And it doesn't look like it is. I mean, this is a possibility, but I'm going to keep going with the fact that this is concave up still, concave up still, and concave up. It doesn't appear to be concave down until we hit zero, but here's the thing. At zero, our function, or better yet, our rate of change is positive. Here, this appears to be concave down, okay? It also appears that this guy is concave down, okay? So I'm going to go with the fact that I'm going to not include 1.5 because 1.5, it kind of seems like it's neither. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that it's concave down from 1 to 1.5 union and then picks back up from 1.5 to infinity. So make sure we understand the difference between the two, the difference between rate of change is decreasing and the function is decreasing. One means that, the other means that. Name the two intervals that have the same positive average rate of change. Now, average rate of change means, you know, slope between two points if we're looking at a graph. I want a positive rate of change. Well, that's only going to happen between here and here because that's the only part where I can draw a positive slope. If I were to draw a dot here and a dot here and find the slope here, that goes up to right 1. If I were to do the same thing here and here, that also goes up to right 1. Now, the pictures and the, the curviness of the graph may not be the same, but that doesn't matter here. I only care about the slope. Okay, so it appears to me that between negative 1 to 0 and 0 to 1, we have the same average rate of change. So I'm going to go with that. So that's our first free response question. Tons of fun.